Good afternoon. My name is Chris Lauder, Superintendent of Cabarrus County Schools, and on behalf of the Cabarrus County Board of Education and the Cabarrus County Schools Administration, I would like to welcome you to today's graduation ceremony as we celebrate and recognize the class of 2020. I want to say a special thank you to the Charlotte Motor Speedway for providing such a great venue for this unique ceremony. Their willingness to work with us to make this happen is truly appreciated. I also want to thank Mark Johnson, the North Carolina State Superintendent, and his staff. They were instrumental in making this ceremony a reality. Finally, I want to say to the class of 2020 that I know this has been a strange year and it did not end the way any of us expected. Even though it has been unique, I know that you will take the challenges and obstacles that occurred over the last few months and turn them into strengths for you and your future. As you drive out of the Speedway as high school graduates, know that we are very proud of you and we love you very much. Congratulations, class of 2020. We're going to take this victory lap today and remember the four year challenges that you have endured and overcome. All honors classes, college classes, public service to hundreds of organizations and schools. You celebrate your school, you celebrate each other, you celebrate our community, you do it all. You were built for a moment like this. It is not by accident, it is by divine design. Today we are here to celebrate each graduate and recognize an accomplishment that at times for many seemed unattainable. Graduates, I find it fitting that we are in a world-renowned facility to recognize each of you. I am confident in saying that you will be telling people about this day for the rest of your lives. Despite circumstances beyond your control, you rose to the challenge and completed your goal. Please take advantage of this accomplishment each of you has much to offer. handshake to our virtual one today, our circle is now complete. Our time together is through, but your adventure is just beginning. Although no matter where we go, the challenge of a new atmosphere will affect us all. The anxiety, fear, and doubt that we felt when attending a new early college will all resurface in the next years of your life. It will be your decision in those tough times to push on and complete the goals that you have been working towards. not reflect on your senior year and limit your memories to what was lost, but instead are able to remember the resilience and perseverance that empowered you to still reach a 13-year-long goal of high school graduation despite great odds. Even though we may be in for some rough waters ahead, I am comforted in the fact that your generation has the grit, vision, and courage to navigate our world to promise and prosperity. class of 2020 has left an impressionable mark that will last for generations to come. Some of you would say that we have assisted you 
However, I would argue that you have taught us more about service, compassion, commitment, and character than we could have hoped to teach you. One word that resonates with me when I think of the class of 2020 is resilient. As a unit, you have faced so many challenges. You must continue to meet these challenges head on and conquer them each and every day. You are a true testament of resiliency. Continue to fight, not only for yourself, but for others. Be the voice that our country needs. Be the leaders that we need in society to create change. decided that this pandemic would not define you, rather it has refined you. You are putting others first by honoring the safety of all. You are seizing the opportunity of simplicity and enjoying quality time with family. of 2020. We have the tenacity to continue and excel. This experience will shape us.